And welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at some more of these uh, knockoff Lego minifigures. As you can see, this is a, a pretty cool one. It is the Bat Who Laughed. And we're looking at the rest of the Dark Knights in a minute. Now, um, anyone don't know who the Dark Knight, uh, the the Bat Who Laughed is? It's Batman, but uh, from one of the Dark Universes. So this this version of Batman, he was like tortured by the Joker and drugged with um, these uh, chemicals that made him hallucinate and stuff. Eventually, this Bruce Wayne uh, decided to break Joker's neck, but in doing so, released a uh, it's like a, was it a virus or a chemical. That turned him into the Bat Who Laughed. So basically, he's like a, a, a Joker version of Batman. Very cool. And uh, <laughs> I've got to admit, this this minifigure is awesome. I really wish uh, Lego would have made something like this, but it might be a bit a bit too out in the fair for, for them. So, so in the comics, the Bat Who Laughs is uh, charged with finding other other Batmans, other Bruce Waynes in the dark multiverse to a group to form like a, uh, a supervillain team and one of the people he um, and one of the uh, other alternative Batmans that um, the, the Bat Who Laugh found was the Dawnbreaker now this is a, a Bruce Wayne that found a uh, Green Lantern ring and he corrupted it and turned it to evil. So that's his character. Next up we have the Merciless. And this is uh, Bruce Wayne. They got the power of uh, Wonder Woman. Got the power by uh, putting on the helmet of uh, Ares, the God of War. I gotta admit, these are super well detailed. They are very cool. Next up, we have The Drowned, which isn't actually Bruce Wayne. It's Bryce Wayne, a, a female version of uh, Bruce Wayne. Who, in this case, got the uh, power of Aqua Woman. Obviously, the female version of Aquaman. And became the drowned. Next up, we have the murder machine, which is Bruce Wayne, uh, sort of with the powers of Cyborg. Uh, There's a whole massive story about how um, Alfred became like a, a holographic uh, program. That tried to kill off all of uh, Batman's enemies by killing everyone in Arkham Asylum, and eventually uh, Bruce Wayne ended up in a uh, like a robotic body with this program running. Really cool story. I can't go into it too much because it it take up way too much time. I could be here for like a for an hour. Then we have the Red Death. Unfortunately, missing a wing, uh, missing an arm. Which is a real pain. It came with this, and it came with this like no, not that one. It came with this head. This is obviously uh, Batman with the power of the Flash. So an evil, evil Batman. Uh, really annoyed about it missing the. Uh, Missing his arm. Also, I forgot to say that the uh, that one came with that head. And the bat who laughs sidekick, Robin. And they actually had uh, multiple Robins, and these are um, children that the Joker had Jokerized. 
And these are games that are like the Evil Robins. There's quite a few of them. Before I end the video, we do have one extra figure, which is like a Green Lantern Batman. With this rather gnarly looking face. This isn't one of the Dark Knights, I believe. But this is one we've found a figure for. <laughs> Pretty cool. So yeah, I don't really know anything about that one. But I thought I'd add that to this collection. So there we go. What an awesome set of <laughs> not Lego, but Lego knockoff Lego figures. Yeah, that's it's a really cool story. Uh, if you can get all of the comics, that would be awesome. Love to see a movie. That would be uh, super cool. Okay, so there's them figures. Until next time, ta for now.